Hello guys, welcome back to Ventilate. Another day, another tournament. Guys, I told you, I told you from day one, Homer, Homer Dog over here was going to take first place as it was going to be impossible to chase him. However, I gave his money for a run and I made sure that he did exactly what it did, was to farm, 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 get up a lot higher because I was probably about the same stage as where he was when he got into the game. So it's, it's actually not too bad. Uh, as long as I didn't get third again, I would have been really pissed off. But thankfully, I got second. This is great. I love it. Not too bad. I'm very happy with this. Like I said, guys, a lot of people always ask the very similar question because everyone wants a sort of, uh, how should I say, Maybe they think they're doing something wrong. Maybe they think it's a, it's a build issue, whether it's clanship, shadow clone, heavenly strike, whatever that is, or even a pet build, which is what I'm running at the moment. A lot of people tend to think that there is a quick way for this game to kind of like progress real quick and bang, 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 and you're up there. I'm gonna be very honest with you, it doesn't work that way. You just need to be consistent. You don't wanna get up too high. There is a balance you have to play with this game. If you go too high too quick, you're gonna be a skinny, tall guy with no muscle, right? But you also don't wanna be a an absolute fat wheel where you're, you're short and tiny, but you're just full of fat. You're just fat and chunky and useless. So what I mean by that is that you don't wanna over farm and overstay where you are, but you also don't want to over extend yourself to the point where you're in a whole new bracket that you're not going to be able to compete with the people around you in those brackets because for example, someone has been a whale, they've been storing it up for over two weeks, three weeks, and bang, they, they go 30,000 30, uh, levels up, they win their tournament by a mile, and they smash you out by it. What I mean by this is that a lot of you guys still gonna be on relics. Relics doesn't mean anything to me anymore because I'm in transcendence. However, for example, a lot of people would not use anything, and then towards the end of it, Right, let's say, let's say they bank up, bank up, bank up, bank up, bank up all their relics, right? Once they hit that tournament, they max it out on Book of Shadows, their prestige, and then they go 25 on that, and then 5, 5, 5, 5, 5. As you can tell, I think this is by far one of the best strategies that I've learned from um, the Bissell tournaments and the guys that they have been talking about. So you max, max out your Book of Shadows first, don't upgrade everything prestige it and then after that start doing 25 5 on them and by that time you probably have enough uh, diamonds use a diamond on one of them cases over here which is a titan chest with that titan chest you then use a 25 5 5 5 5 5 after the prestige so i think that's actually a very very excellent point where it's going to help you push a tremendous amount of levels in your tournaments the thing is you don't want to be pushing levels when you're not in tournament the reason for this is that you gain nothing apart from bragging points. Why have bragging points? It, it means absolutely nothing. It means jack shit, right? So what you want today is keep it enough so that you store it up. So during tournament, when you're happy and you look at the tournament, you get into it, you know, hey, I can hit about another 10,000 levels here. I can hit another 5,000 levels here. I can win this easily and these guys won't be able to pick me up. That's when you unload everything. But if you think you're gonna lose, you're gonna be in the fifth, sixth, seventh place, no matter how hard you push, why are you pushing? Just keep farming. Don't use any relics, right? It's okay sometimes to skip certain tournaments and, and start to really be careful how you use your uh, tournament points. So that way, so sorry, that way, sorry, not your tournament points, but your relic points, right? With your relics, now you can start to manipulate it and use it to your best advantage during tournaments so that when you win those tournaments, it actually benefits you. And I think just keep in mind, if you don't have every single set over here, what you wanna do is make sure you farm the type of tournaments that gives you crafting shots okay so you might have to prioritize crafting shots over say skill points or over all the other stuff because right now that's more important for you to be able to get every single set in this game right and once you get every single set in the game it now becomes a whole lot easier for you to push you can have all that passive power with you and then you're going to be able to push to the next new level so that's what you want to prioritize and make sure you're prioritizing the right things that works for you at that time so it's not a simple easy answer it's just 
push, 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 and you'll be able to win. However, one very important thing is the more prestige you do, the more relics you get. It's literally that simple. Literally that simple. How you use them is where the key part happens, all right? Any, any blind bat can do a thousand prestige, right? Anyone can do that. However, those that do a thousand prestiges a day will not last a week. After that, they'll be sick of the game, probably sick of their phone, probably sick of life, they'll probably be depressed and be like, nah, I'm not playing this game anymore. A thousand prestige every day for seven days, I'm done. However, a consistent person that does 10 prestiges a day over the course of a year will far outweigh and far benefit them in the game than someone that does a thousand prestige a day. So you need to find your medium. You need to find a place that you're comfortable with, that you're not doing too much, you're not doing too little, and that way you can win it in the long run. Do not see this as a quick, you know, massive spike of a growth like, oh, this is the best new tech stock, you know, it's the and apart from the seven magnificent, I'm gonna be the eight magnificent stock. No, 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 this is an ETF. Take your time, you slowly get your way up there. This is not gonna, it's not gonna blow up 20% overnight. That's not what's going to happen. So you need to prioritize this game carefully and understand where you are, what's more important for you. Number one, crafting. Get all your crafting sets, get your crafting shots, number one. Number two, volume, volume, volume. You need to smack this out real hard, okay? And you need to get it at a point where you actually still enjoy the game and you're, you're having fun and then just leave it, okay? Another little, little sort of sly little trick that you can do is every 45 minutes, whether you're at work or school, wherever you are, every 45 minutes, open up your app and prestige. That's it, you know? Let's say if you work eight hours a day, that's eight prestige is done. By the time you get home, one more prestige, on the train, another couple of prestige, you're already done. You're already farming everything you need to farm in the day. So you don't have to work as hard as people say, instead of banging it out for an hour and a half, distracted on the phone and not spending time with your family, not spending time with the people that you love, you're, you're literally just banging this game for two hours. Don't do that, all right? Make it useful, quick, bang, bang, prestige, go, all right? So be consistent and, and don't burn out in this game. The, the biggest problem I see with this game is that people really do burn out. They just play too much. It just gets too much. Like, to be honest, when we have those 100 prestigious a day, it was an absolute rocker. I loved it, I loved it, I loved it. As much as my heart wants to yearn for that almost every single uh, tournament, I think it would definitely break the game because a lot of people would just get so burnt out that it would stop playing the game. So it, it, there is a balance to this game and it, it is quite an addictive game with an addictive sort of personality uh, disorder that, that really attracts people. So people like me, you know, this is an absolutely addictive. So you don't want to get to that point, okay? So you want to be able to do what you can, but you don't want to go too far with this game. So that is my honest uh, sort of opinion on how this game works because I, I do know that a lot of people ask for all kinds of different advice. This is by far, guys, the most important thing, okay? Just be consistent. Being consistent, being smart, you're gonna get a long, long way and it is going to benefit you in the long run, all right? And at the end of the day, have fun. It's a game, have lots of fun. Find it a bit of tournaments, honestly, until today, I still don't get bored. I still enjoy it a lot. So enjoy the Abyssal Tournament so you get to play a different game. To be very honest with you, my favorite build, which is probably not the best build out there, Heavenly Sword. Oh, I love that animation. What a beautiful animation. Oh, 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 oh. oh it's just, I just prestigious. Too much there. Okay, let me prestigious, get out of this. Yeah, Heavenly Sword is by far my favorite. I, I just absolutely love the animation. It's such a beautiful animation. Uh, absolutely stunning, stunning build. However, uh, for competition reasons, I think I will stick to the pet build for now until, uh, say, Heavenly Sword makes a comeback and it is absolutely crazy and it is it's OP, it is back in, in the game. And uh, this is going to be an impossible balance for uh, the creators and, and the developers. It is going to be an impossible balance, right? It When you overweigh one, you're gonna down the other. When you down the other, it's gonna overweigh the other. So it, it, you're never gonna get that balance. And it is what it is and it's okay, all right? So I'm gonna stick to pet for now. I do enjoy it. But then one day, I definitely would love to see Heavenly Strike come back. I absolutely love that. It's such a, such a good build. 
Anyways, guys, that's all from me. If you have any more questions, definitely drop it at the bottom. I'll try my best to get back to all your comments and, and help you guys. I do check in daily, so I will make sure I will check in on you guys and actually help you the best I can. Guys, I'm not the most tax savvy. If any of you can create a Discord channel for us, why? the hell not right i don't know how to make a discord channel i am in discord but i don't know how to make a discord channel i don't know how it works um, but if any of you are a discord champion and you guys know absolutely the best thing about discord and how you can da 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 da, da having channels and having chats and this and that and stuff absolutely please 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 help me out here drop me a comment and then we can even uh you know hit up on an email add each other up on discord so that I, we can start making this into a reality and i think it'll be a really good forum that we can all start to talk to each other and build a little community around this discord channel so that everyone can actually be a community rather than just comments on a youtube channel all right that's it for me guys drop a like drop a subscribe i'll maybe start a basic discord channel if any of you are really really good uh, what do they call moderators or whatever that is or uh administrative whatever whatever that is guys if you know how to do it definitely let me know okay drop a like drop a subscribe and i'll catch you in the next tournament which is going to be on wednesday night so you won't see me tomorrow for a video but i'll catch you later hope you had a great start to the week see you later bye bye